Outside a small church in Tonalá, Mexico, several dozen Central American migrants are taking a break from the exhausting heat. For most of these people, faith centers like this church are among the few places left where they still feel welcome. Uh. Nora Cerón is from Honduras and is here with eight members of her family. She says she was recently chased down by Mexican immigration agents and hasn't found much sympathy from the Mexican people. They think we're criminals, but we're not. It's true there are all kinds of people in the caravans, but we're being cursed for the sins of others. Some places we've been won't even let us use the toilets, and my kids have been denied water. How could you deny a child water? We're all human beings. Over the past few months in Mexico, there's been a shift in public opinion toward migrants. Many business leaders in the state of Chiapas have closed their doors to Central Americans, publishing videos online portraying migrants as disease-ridden criminals. People in Chiapas no longer come out to donate food and water like they once did. It would appear the migrant caravans have worn out their welcome. Ronnie Rivera, also from Honduras, says that without support from local communities, migrant shelters are a last resort. But the shelters can't provide for everyone. We're not on this journey because we want to hurt anyone. We're here because we want better lives for our families. We would never hurt anyone here in Mexico. They are our brothers and we respect them. But at the same time, we wish they would stand by us because I do feel there is a lot of discrimination against us migrants and that is not fair. Several hundred migrants have gathered along the train tracks. Their goal is to head as far north as possible. We're standing atop a train car in the town of Arriaga in southern Mexico. Many migrants who are worried about being detained while walking on the side of the road will opt for hopping on one of these freight trains. This one's called La Bestia, or the Beast. But hopping on top of one of these trains carries its own risks. And over the years, many migrants have died falling off the sides of these train cars. Just before sunset, migrants began to rush the train, many of them women with young children. No longer feeling safe traveling in caravans, it appears migrants are resorting to the back roads and train routes of the past, even if it means a whole new set of risks. Manuel Rapalo, Al Jazeera, Arriaga, Mexico.